what does it mean to be able to get called up to the big club and uh, kind of show what you're made of? Oh, I mean, it means a lot. That's what you were working for, like, the whole summer. And, I mean, this is where you want to be, playing in a shell, playing a show. Uh, so, well, I'll just take every opportunity you get out there and try to do your best. So, yeah. Does it, does it help having guys like Forzy and Brand, Brandstrom, like, uh, countrymen to help you feel more comfortable? Uh, oh, yeah, especially when I came here this summer. I didn't really know anyone except Brandy, Forzy. I uh, didn't know him that much, but... Very nice guy, so uh, no, they helped me a lot, like get to know the guys and help me like in the locker room where to find stuff and, uh, and also they've been a great help for me. Um, do you have any uh, pre-game uh, superstitions? Uh, I mean, I always take maybe like an hour nap, uh, not really, but uh, I always do the same warm-up, but it's more for so I don't have to really think. It's just more so it comes like natural for me, but uh, not too bad. But maybe maybe a little bit. What's your uh, what's your go-to cheat meal? I like pizza, burgers. Uh, uh, probably pizza. Yeah. Do you play any other sports? Uh, I played soccer growing up. Uh, wasn't very good at it, but uh, I love soccer still. I uh, love to watch it. Uh, yeah, I play some tennis sometimes in the summers, uh, paddle tennis too, uh, golf. Yeah, so a little bit of everything. <laughs> Who do you have winning the World Cup? Hmm. I hope like Argentina wins because I want Messi to uh, get a World Cup. I'll be sick for him. Uh, but. Uh, I mean, Brazil has a great team. Uh, they will always be good. Uh, I think France still have a, have a good chance too. Uh, I think I might Pogba might be out, but uh, still have a still have a good team. Uh, but yeah, I will go with uh, Argentina for Messi. Growing up, who were the athletes that you idolized that kind of you wanted to build either your hockey or your mental game around? Uh, I mean, growing up, like Niklas Lidstrom course uh, him and then like yeah a little bit Oliver Ekman Larson uh, grew, up, grew up like an hour away from my hometown so those two I will say uh, yeah like you watch a little bit and yeah try to form a game after what's the adjustment been like going from the big ice in Europe to uh, the North American style uh oh it's been a long time now since I was on the big guys, but uh, no, I mean, it's like here, I think it's a tighter game and you can shoot from everywhere. Over there, it's more like people skating around more, like in Ozone, they can be on Ozone shift for two minutes, but don't really get any scoring chances here. I feel like as soon as it comes in, in the zone, it could be like a dangerous shot. So here it's more tight, a faster game. Uh, over there, it's more like you need to have structure and really like, because the ice is so big, so there's so much ice to cover. Uh, but it was like a little bit of adjustment for sure. But I like it more over here with the small ice when it's more intense and uh, more battles out there. What is the one thing that you learned playing in the NHL so far that you really had to work on? One thing you've had to get better at? Just all those small like battles against the boards and like be able to like pin guys just don't escape with them try to pin them on the boards uh, I think that's uh, really big up here to like take away one guy and make space for others uh, yeah so that's one thing like just winning those small battles all over the ice is it confusing to have three D-men named Jacob on the same team I uh, <laughs> Not, not when uh, Cap uses our names right. I think uh, every once in a while when he calls Sandy, he says Jake, I get a little confused. But um, we call uh, Jacob Larson Lars, so that, that's, been, that's been good. So it's, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, what does this mean for you, for your confidence, that the coach wants to keep you here and keep giving you games and mature as a player? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's big. I think um, as a young guy, that's probably one of the biggest things is getting in the league and just having that confidence to play your game. And um, this year, I think I've, I've done a good job of just trying to, you know, when I make a mistake, just move forward and 
um, just use it as a learning curve. And um, so far, it's uh, you know been going well. But I think uh, you know there's going to be nights where I'm I'm not at my best, and you know maybe I don't have that confidence. It's just about trying to contribute somehow. What was the one of the things that you really needed to to work on? Like one thing you learned from this league that you realized like, wasn't part of your game. That wasn't part of my game. Yeah, something you, you, you figured out. Oh, now that you've been in the league, that you're like, oh, I need to work on this. I think just guys in the corner. I think when I first came in the league, it's uh, it's so different. You get in the corner with guys like Mark Shifley or you know, I'm just thinking of a few, Blake Wheeler. That was my first game against Winnipeg, and I just remember how good they were protecting the puck. And, um, you know, there's some guys like that in college, but obviously not to that extent, not not uh, not those elite forwards. So um, for me, it's just, yeah, the corner play and, and getting strong there and being able to defend. What do you, uh, you, what do you expect from Buffalo with uh, these – really tough, large forwards. Um, how do you expect to play them? Yeah, I think if we just play to our structure, um, you know, hopefully they, they kind of feed into to our game. And um, obviously they're a great rush team, so we know uh, we gotta be we got to be good with the puck in the neutral zone and um, kind of be airtight there um, in, our, uh, in our neutral zone. Um, and I think just being smart, I think, you know, they got some high-end guys, like you said, and um, just playing to our game and, and trusting that it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. What's the message in the dressing room from the veterans? Because you've been through a stretch now where every game is very close. Uh, is it patience? I think so. I mean, you know, we're we're playing good hockey, and 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 sometimes obviously there's there's little breakdowns in the game, and it's kind of biting us right now. And um, it's it's hard to put to put together a 60 minute effort. And um, you know, I think we're doing our best, and uh, we just got to stick with it here. We're we're playing pretty good hockey, and you know, we're getting chances. So I think that's the biggest thing. It's just. Uh, Stay positive on the bench and, and just keep going.